Just in time for the holidays, new rules to help address food insecurity in Newfoundland and Labrador. The province is now allowing hunters to donate the meat they harvest to local food banks. Adam Walsh is in St. John's with the details and joins us now. Adam, thanks so much for joining us. Let's talk about this pilot project that started. Walk us through how it's going to work. So any food bank in the province can apply for special permit and it can receive moose and caribou meat. Now the only real rule in all of this, besides for the permit, is for hunters. They have to actually bring the meat to a licensed butcher because, well, you don't want to do that on your own because there can be some cleanliness issues. Now this rule change, people have been pushing for this for years and all kind of culminated this summer, John, because you had advocates who were pushing for it. Newfoundland and Labrador has got high rates of food insecurity. And also because of the pandemic, government has kind of, the provincial government here has been reacting a little bit faster to these types of food aid requests. So all that came together, moose hunting, caribou hunting season started. And this week the rule change has happened. And well, here's an advocate to talk about the benefit of that. I see the potential for thousands of pounds of moose meat to be donated uh, during the hunting season. Uh, right now, today, we are receiving hundreds of pounds just from one moose, and that's going to go to uh, a couple of different food banks. Yes, yeah, so she says there's uh, a lot on a moose and it can go a long way. What has been the reaction? Well, from food banks, they say it's great. I was actually at a couple of food banks for moose meat drop-offs this week, John, and people are very excited because, well, look, I'm wearing a winter jacket right now. It's cold. We're moving into winter. So what happens if you're an isolated senior, if you're a family on a low income, your heat bill goes up, you got to pay for it. A lot of times that comes from your grocery bill, so people have to do without. So this is very helpful. Food banks are very much in favor of this. They think it's a very good thing. And hunters I spoke to, too, they're, they're in favor of this as well because a lot of times in Newfoundland and Labrador, at the end of the year, people look in their deep freezes and they see that they've got moose or car caribou left over. Sometimes it's freezer burnt and it gets thrown out. So this way, at the start, when you get your animal for hunters, you can make that decision on whether or not to donate it to a food bank and you know it's going to be eaten and it's going towards a good cause. So here's a couple of hunters I spoke with. They, they heard about it and they said, this is a great idea. Let's do it. So what better way you know, to be able to, this time of the year, everything uh, going on, to say, hey, Dad, you know, we actually provided 70 meals this year. 70 good, high-protein, clean meat to our fellow Newfoundland and Labradorians. And Dad was all for it, right? You know, 100%. he was all yeah, for it, right? 100%. Like I said, So you had Bill Sr. and Jr. there being all for giving their moose to, to a food bank. Now this program, uh, hunting season ends the first week of January. The plan for the provincial government is to take a good look at things and adjust it for next year, maybe even expand it uh, for fish. And oh, by the way, John, moose, if you haven't had it before, it's, uh, it's delicious. Uh, I have had it and uh, it is delicious. Adam, thank you, sir. CBC's Thanks, sir. Adam Walsh in St. John's.